dear student today we will learn the factors affecting vapor pressure so let's start so what i have told factors affecting factors affecting vapor pressure factors affecting vapor pressure so so the first factor is temperature first factor is temperature first factor is temperature so i have already told in the definition section that the temperature should be constant during study of vapor pressure so if you increase the temperature if you increase the temperature i am just right here there mark that here is a burner is present and the burner produces flame and the flame transports it into the liquid medium or solution medium at that condition maximum number of surface molecules these are the surface molecules will be converted the surface molecule at to receive of temperature by the liquid or solution produces more number of vapor at that condition the due to increase in the vapor amount or vapor number maximum number of pressure will be exerted on the surface that's why the temperature increase will increase the vapor amount and the vapor pressure will increase so we can tell it as temperature temperature i am expressing temperature by t directly proportional to vapor pressure that means if you increase the temperature the vapor pressure will be increased i have told the reason the second vector that affects the vapor pressure is the nature of liquid the nature of liquid or you can tell it as the intermolecular nature of liquid or what i am telling intermolecular intermolecular force of attraction intermolecular force of attraction so mark that if the nature of liquid or intermolecular force mark that if liquid molecules are present then the liquid molecules in solution medium if interrelated that means they are in close contact with each other and the bond between them if more strong that in that condition the vapors will be released in delayed time that means if consider a and b are the two molecules of liquid and c and d another type of molecule in that case in that case mark that a and b i am telling this is strongly it is a molecule it is another molecule and c and d another molecules in that condition if a and b are strongly bonded and that condition if a and b are present in this medium if you apply temperature or any any change then the due to transfer of heat due to strong bonding between them the bonds will require more energy to get converted into vapor and in that condition here if you mark that i am writing here strong bond is present strong bond means strong intermolecular bond strong bond is present so due to presence of strong bond it will require maximum temperature maximum temperature require you can mark here require maximum temperature maximum temperature to gets vaporized but if it is a weak bond if it is a weak bond at that condition the weak bond will readily vaporize at low temperature that's why the temperature low condition will easily produce the vapors and the vapors produced at weak intermolecular force of attraction containing compound or intermolecular bonding case the vapors are readily produced 
that's why weak bonded molecules readily produces vapors that's why the nature of liquid that means weak molecular bond containing liquids easily produces vapor and gives maximum vapor pressure but strong bond containing molecules gives vapors in delayed time or taking maximum temperature that's why the vapors pressure the vapor pressure of weak bonded or weakly bonded molecules weakly bonded molecules molecules are greater than the vapor pressure of strongly bonded strongly bonded molecules i am not writing strongly bonded just apply ly strongly bonded molecules so nature of liquid or intermolecular force attraction matters a lot for vapor pressure next portion is the purity of liquid so make adding the third one or third factor that is the purity of the third one is the purity of liquid so it is the most valuable portion of vapor pressure which will be used in further concepts so mark that how the purity of liquids matter for the vapor pressure concept so it is a pure liquid consider it is a pure liquid and the vapor surface molecules here easily available and it produces by receiving temperature vapors easily and five molecules of vapor are present in this case but it is a pure liquid what i am telling it is a pure liquid but just mark it is a solvent and i am adding it and uh, now i am adding Matt, what I have mentioned, this portion express that this type. This is the solvent molecule representation. I am for your better understanding. I am marking this portion. This is the solvent molecule. This is the solvent, and this is the solute section. So when any non-volatile solute, mark when any non-volatile solute is added. When any non-volatile solute. is added to a volatile solvent then the non volatile solute occupies the surface molecule portion and the availability of the volatile molecule decreases on the upper surface that's why by giving temperature the vapor molecule number reduces due to the in availability of maximum number of or on availability of the maximum number of surface molecule so the five out of five surface vapors only three vapors are produced when the pure solvent or pure liquid produces solution with non volatile with non volatile solute so that's why the less amount of vapor will be produced when you add non volatile solute to a pure solvent or pure volatile solvent that's why the vapor pressure of the vapor pressure of a pure volatile solvent or liquid is always greater than the solution containing the volatile solute with non volatile solvent with non volatile solute that means always mark it is a rule you can take vapor pressure of pure solvent pure solvent is greater than is greater than from the vapor pressure of pure solvent pure solvents solution with non volatile solute with non volatile 
सल्यूट मेन्शन इट फास्ट तो दीज आर द कंप्लीट कॉन्सेप्ट अपॉन द पेपर प्रेसर सो शेयर द वीडियो विथ अर फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू